the Raiders might have just got themselves the best defensive player in the NFL draft. Today, I wanted to jump into Tyree Wilson's film, analyze what he does well, and most importantly, what he's going to bring to this Raiders defense and what makes him so special. So without further ado, let's get into the film breakdown. Jumping to this first play, I want to highlight some of Tyree Wilson's best traits and his physicality as a run defender. So taking a look at this next play here, the first play, we see the offense here pre-snap. They're going to be running GH power directly at Tyree Wilson, meaning this H back here is going to try to kick Tyree Wilson out. They're going to try to have the pulling guard and running back come underneath. But as we see, we see the pure physicality, the wrecking ball mentality of Tyree Wilson. He comes in like a missile, blowing up the fullback, blowing up the entire play, basically meeting the running back at the mesh point with the quarterback. This is a big time TFL and this wrecking ball mentality is definitely going to be a tone setter for the Raiders defense up front. So now we've seen Tyree Wilson's effect while trying to defend the gap scheme and blowing up kickout blocks. Let's flip gears here. Let's take a look at one of the most popular plays in the NFL. We see on this next play here, the offense, they're trying to run outside zone at Tyree Wilson, meaning the tight end here, circle and black, he's either going to try to reach Tyree Wilson or crank him and create lateral movement to allow the running back to cut back underneath. And as I let the play roll, we see Tyree Wilson's physicality be on display again here, taking the tight end, driving him four yards in the backfield to meet the running back for a huge TFL. Having a defender on the edge be able to set the edge this way is going to disrupt the timing of any outside zone, wide zone running scheme. So all those teams like the Niners, the Dolphins, the Jets, having a defender like this is going to create havocs for the timing for the running backs. And it's going to create a headache for any offensive coordinator that wants to try to get the ball out on the perimeter when you have big Tyree Wilson on the edge. There's no doubt about it, Tyree Wilson's a physical edge-setting defender, but once you start to add in his lateral mobility as well, you start to see what makes Tyree Wilson so special. And that'll take us right into this next play here where we see pre-snap the offense. They're running zone read, reading Tyree Wilson on the edge here. And at the snap of the ball, we're going to see Tyree Wilson. He's going to surf down the line of scrimmage here, keeping his hips square, keeping his eyes on the quarterback. This will give the quarterback the give read to hand the ball off to the running back here. As soon as he gives that ball off, look at the lateral mobility, look at the burst to give get flat down the line, tackling the running back, not allowing a gain here. All this play rolled from the top, that ability to transition from having his hip square at the quarterback to then bursting flat down the line to meet the running back in the backfield. It's special for somebody his size being almost 280 pounds. And you add on top of his physical strength to blow up kickout blocks, set the edge, driving tight ends into the backfield, his ability to just blow up any zone reads. It's clear as day that he's going to be a headache for any team that wants to run the football on Sundays. We've seen a lot to like from Tyree Wilson as a run defender. Let's flip gears here and let's take a look at him as a pure pass rusher and how a lot of these traits from the run game will translate to his pass rushing capabilities. So taking a look at this next play here, we're going to see one of Tyree Wilson's favorite moves. It's this long arm bull rush. It's one of his favorite moves to throw. And we see here, he's throwing the long arm, stabbing the tackle in the chest play here. And now we see Tyree Wilson just walk the tackle back to the quarterback, shedding off and picking up a big time sack. Once again, all this play roll from the top, but this is the pure physicality and power that Tyree Wilson will bring as an edge rusher. He's going to dominate tackles physically. Look at him just walking the tackle back right to the quarterback, getting a big time sack. Again, transitioning that speed and power to his pass rush game as well. Taking a look at this next play here, I want to say on the same subject of Tyree Wilson's pass rushing capabilities. And we're going to see on this next play, the tackle do a really good job to almost stonewall Tyree Wilson here. We see Tyree goes to throw that long arm here, striking the tackle in the chest plate. But we see circled in white, the tackler responds perfectly by also throwing a great, great strike right into the chest of Tyree Wilson to slow his momentum down. But as I have the play roll here, we see Tyree Wilson respond perfectly. He takes an outside free arm to scoop the elbow, lift that tackle's elbow up to break the contact. Once the contact's broken, all that momentum comes charging back for him to get back into the backfield and to get the big time sack. I'll display play roll from the top one more time. Just keep an eye on how Tyree Wilson uses that outside arm to scoop that tackle's arm to break the contact, be able to regain his momentum, driving that tackle back into the pocket. Now getting to this next play, we're going to stay on the same subject of the pass rush capabilities of Tyree Wilson. And it is worth noting that a lot of people label Tyree Wilson as a one-trick pony in the pass rush game, that all he is is a speed to power guy, all he does is bull rush. But in this next play, let's take a look at how he's able to respond and feel out the type of sets he's getting from tackles. Now we see the snap of the ball, the right tackle here, he's going to open his hips and throw an inside club, trying to run Tyree Wilson out of the back of the pocket here. But as I let the play roll, 
We see Tyree respond perfectly here. He feels the tackle's off balance, his hips are open, so he takes advantage of it by swimming back inside, taking up a big time sack on the quarterback. All this play roll from the top. Keep an eye on the Tyree, or the tackle's leverage here. Look how he's off balance, his hips are open, he's in an exposed state. Tyree Wilson does a great job taking advantage of this, swimming back inside, picking up that big time sack. Again, this is a really positive sign out of such a raw pass rusher. A lot of people label, label Tyree Wilson as a one-trick pony coming into the draft. As he's just a big physical bull rush guy. He's not great with his hands. He's still raw technically, but seeing him show these flashes to respond and throw these counter moves is a very positive sign and shows the growth and development that's yet to come out of Tyree Wilson. Overall, we've seen a lot to like from Tyree Wilson today. He's one of the most physically imposing defenders from this draft class. Being 6'6", almost 280 pounds, he's a wrecking ball week in and week out. He's going to blow up tackles, tight ends, fullbacks, whoever it is, he's going to physically dominate who's across from him. Now you're adding that type of mentality and style of play with already an impressive unit of Chandler Jones and Max Crosby coming off the edge. You're starting to build one of the most lethal pass rushing trios in the league. Like we saw today with in the run game, he's going to be able to collapse and set the edge against wide zone. He's going to blow up any puller or fullback that wants to kick him out in gap scheme. He's going to be a headache for any OC week in and week out to game plan around. Now you also add on top of that, that physicality that he's going to bring to the pass rushing arsenal, how he's going to be able to bull rush tackles and collapse the pocket in on quarterbacks. He's going to be a nightmare for OCs and offensive linemen week in and week out. And you add on top of that, you have Max Crosby playing across from him and Chandler Jones rotating in as well. The Raiders are building a very lethal defensive front. Let me know your guys' thoughts down below, though. I love hearing from you guys. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.